I'm curious what it feels like to fall 60 stories, but I'm not going to go jump off the building. Things that are, you think about doing, just, yeah, do it. I find that a lot of people, they talk about doing things, but they never do them. Born in Winnipeg in Canada, grew up in Vancouver in the early 80s, moved to Hawaii, from Hawaii to Palm Springs, Palm Springs to LA, and then back to Vancouver. My mom was an interior designer and art collector, and my father was in the clothing business, so he did manufacturing. I grew up in the clothing industry. It was always something that I was basically gravitated to. It was just another medium. I was always into art. Well, I grew up skateboarding and surfing, and so it was all skate-inspired things. And I was into the whole punk scene as a kid. I was always, again, attracted to native culture. I found uh, it really eye-catching. Everything's become so manufactured. I started designing clothes, like, again, at a young age. I was always customizing things. And I always wanted to make things more personal, and that was where the style came in. This collection is really personal. The, the name of the collection for the season was called Silent Presence, and it was basically allowing the product to speak for itself. I felt if you have to go out and sell something, it's usually not really that good. I just like wearing things that I can throw on the ground. I gotta feel comfortable. And I feel most comfortable in like, probably looking like I'm homeless. I live on an island. There's no one around me. I built my studio in my house. I do all from everything from my own silk screening to photography to so They're all hand done. So every sweater will be completely different. Mm -hmm. There's not ever two alike. Sometimes, you know, you get the imperfections. Like, you see like the dark and the light. And what happens is in the yarn, sometimes the dye doesn't saturate the yarn completely. In some places, it saturates more. Natives, they put them all over their button blankets and stuff. It's a thing for, for about eight. The cashmere comes from Mongolia, and it comes from Mongolia in the raw form, so it's literally like big hay bales of fluff. A sweater weighs between three and four pounds, and it would take one goat 20 years to produce enough cashmere to make one sweater. It's produced from a strand of yarn. So as soon as you do, you can, you know, if it's too small, I can make it bigger. If it's too big, I can make it smaller. And I love the fact that it's really adaptable. Oh, I want to put a hood on it, I want to do. And there's no wastage. It's just like once your sweater's done, you just clip the thread. I dropped out of school in grade nine. The most valuable thing we have is that our time. I felt that school never taught me, like, what was happening in the real world. I've never done anything for the dollar. Like, as far as a businessman, I just like making things. And I would keep making what I'm making, whether again it be a painting, clothing, or whatever, because I enjoy making.